Stampers, Deb Felder here, your Fun Stampers Journey Coach, and today I'd like to show you a card highlighting our gesso. We have in our catalog some of the most amazing products in the back of the catalog, which is my favorite place to be anyway, um, it, but some of the cool things that we have are a lot of the Journey Media product, and that's prefaced by your ordering number um, JM. So today I wanted to show you a couple of uses of, with our Journey Gesso and um, it's just a fun product to work with but some people aren't familiar with it so I wanted to show you um, just a cool way to do a very simple card. All right so this is the card that we're going to do today but I also wanted to show you one that Richard taught us how to do and I will be showing you how to do our paper molding um, very shortly. But do you see the white on these um, flowers? I added that with the Journey Gesso, and then back here, just a little bit of splash and added the uh, the glitter to it. That is also the Journey Gesso, and so is the uh, Gesso right here. So this is my little easel card um, made in a class with Richard, and it just came out absolutely beautiful. This butterfly will be um, available soon, so um, hold on to your hats and you can get that also. All right? But for today, we're going to do just a very simple card, um, just easy to do and fast. All right, I did this in one of my Stampa stacks, and they absolutely loved it. So let me bring in my um, my grid paper, and I'm going to start out with my banana cream paper, um, some black fusion ink, and my stamp that comes from the stamp set called. Um, Journey Rectangle, I'm sorry, it's called Wonderful Days, and I'm using the Journey Rectangles to cut out the inner piece right there also. So let me just grab the stamp from the stamp set, and I'm just going to randomly, actually I'm going to start with the words, because it's always easier to start when you have your words on, and then you can just kind of build around that. So I'm just going to take and stamp the word, have a wonderful day, and now I'm going to take my um, my flower and just randomly stamp it all over the card. All right, so I do like bringing the ink to the paper rather than, I'm sorry, I like bringing the ink to the stamp rather than the stamp to the ink. I just think that works so much better. And like I said, you just want to randomly stamp them all over. Not too many. Put one right here. And that's it. You don't want it to get too busy. All right, so I think that's it for now. And the next thing that we want to do is to take just an old block. This is one of my old blocks that doesn't have the grid on there. And I'm going to take some of our gesso. I'm also going to take, and I always put my... Um, my saran wrap in there just to keep it fresher longer because it does dry out okay um, so I'm just going to take some of this see how nice that is we don't even need that much um, we only need just a very very little and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to spritz some water um, with my you want to clean off your appliances right away all right because it does harden um, I'm going to take whoops I forgot to put my you definitely want to put your um, your saran wrap in there so that um, it doesn't dry out. I think I told you that. All right, so put the lid on tight and you're good to go. All right, now what we're going to do is to take um, my spritzer. I'm going to take my block and I'm going to add, this is just water in here, and what I'm going to do is to just add some water to it. All right, and then take my spatula and just... Get that nice and wet. There we go. So now it's just like a little bit of a, a watercolor mixture. All right. And then I will take my small blending brush and pick this up and just very carefully paint. And when I paint it, it gives it this very nice white, um, what do I want to call it? It's just a white wash to my card, just like this. All right, I'm going to leave the centers yellow, or black and yellow, I should say. 
All right, I'm not going to go over those. So there we have um, our flowers. Do you see how that um, the white is just um, it just kind of brings out the uh, it just kind of subdues the uh, yellow in there. I just think it, it just looks so pretty. It's not too it's not too dark. It's not too light. It just pops out onto the onto the card. Isn't that pretty? I just love 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 that. All right, so I'm just going to take and wipe off my um, my brush, and I can do that actually by just. Um, bringing some water into it because this is water soluble and I will clean off my um, block. You want to clean that off right away so that um, it's not hard to clean up at the end and you just wipe it right off. All right. If you do leave it overnight just soak it in the, the sink and it comes right off. All right so there is um, my clean block, my clean blending brush and now let's put our card together. It's that simple. So I took my card base, which you know me, cutting out my black piece right here um, with my um, rectangle frame. That's where the rectangle um, dies come in. And I'm just gonna take and put some adhesive on the back of this so I will take and do just my um, easy glide to attach it to this piece right here. All right. And then for this one, I'm going to add my ribbon, whoops. Add my ribbon. Whoops, we got to put this closer to the end because I have the hole in the middle. All right, so there's that. All righty, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my ribbon, and this is still a little bit wet. I just took some of our um, black satin ribbon. And for this one, I'm going to add it right around the um, the black part. This one I put around the entire card. But we'll see what you guys like better. You always let me know whether you like it, you know, just around the other one. But this is a good way to use your gesso, you know, just to make an, um, a transparent uh, a dye. It's like a wash. That's what I like to look at it as. It's like a, a white wash, you know. It's just, um, it's just really pretty neat. And it... Uh, it does it dries in no time flat all right so there's my little bow and for this one I'm going to take and use my um, Grand Pro shears and I'm just gonna cut a little banner in the bottom of it when you go to cut a banner um, you want to take and always cut toward the fold so that you have that little that little divot inside there does that make sense hope so um, so here's my fold right here. I always want to cut toward the fold. All right, just like that. Now we have a couple more things to do. I'm going to take and I'm going to add this to my card base. Um, and my card base is my white card base right here. Uh, I'm going to use my Easy Glide for that also. All right. And I will put a little bit on my ribbon because I want it to stay right there all right so we're going to add that to the card isn't that oh so pretty all righty all right so there's that and now we've got a couple more things to do i took my sparkle silk okay that's our new sparkle silk i added it to my blending brush and i'm going to use it um there's other things out on the market but i like this better all right, because you get more bang for your buck. I'm just going to take it. I'm just going to highlight my flowers just where these little highlights are already on our flower. I'm not going to cover the whole thing because I don't want to cover up all the whitewash. All right, so what I'm doing, and I don't know if you can see how pretty this is, but this um, sparkle silk inside the blending brush, and I use my small blending brush inside that blending brush, just makes it so controllable. I love it. 
All right, so I'm going to just add here. Lift it up a little bit here. And right down here. You don't want to saturate it with this, but you just want it to look oh so pretty. There. Oh my goodness. It just adds so much more character to it. And the last thing I'm going to add is what is a card without some... Oh, I'm putting it in the wrong thing here. Um, all right, so this goes on to my spritzer. And this goes on to my... And you always want to make sure you put the top back onto it. They just click right on. And then I'm just going to add with my um, bloom tool a couple of these little um, pearls. Because what's a card without some bling? And just add them wherever you want. I'm just going to take two different sizes. I'm taking the medium and the small. And maybe a couple down here. Where there's a little blank spot. And... For this one, you can't just have one. There we go. Eh, one more. See, see, you can really overdo it. There we go. So there's my card. Is that? It's how fast is that? You know. Um, like I said, if you have any questions, let me know. This gesso um, is just an amazing product, and um, we'll have some more things that you can do with it. For right now, I call this the whitewash um, because I added it with water, so to make it look um, see-through. And um, when you add it, it just feels like paint. And then I just colored over it with our new Journey Silk. It's called um, Sparkle Silk. It's just absolutely amazing. Added a little bit of um, our satin ribbon. And it is a very elegant card that it took no time at all to make. Um, it's just a very, very pretty, um, pretty card. All right? You take care. Have a great day. Hop on over to my blog because there's more um, inspiration over there for you. You take care and have a great day.